Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see uh, one of the standard conformal transform that is transformation of omega is equal to e raised to z. So, let us see here. So, proof for this uh, transform we will see. So, consider consider omega is equal to e raised to z. So, we know that we know that omega is equal to u plus iv as well as and the value of z is what here x plus i1 and these two values will apply in the above expression so therefore therefore omega is equal to e raised to z which can be it is u plus i v is equal to e raised to x plus i y so i have taken omega value as u plus i v and uh, z value as x plus i y now on simplification of right hand side we will take the real and imaginary part so i will separate this one e raised to x into e raised to i y okay if basis are same if you add we will get back the previous one so which is nothing but e raised to x as it is but this e raised to i y is nothing but a complex form so which can be written as cos of y plus i times sin of y as per the complex number so Again, you multiply this e raised to x to this bracket. So, it will become e raised to x of cos of y plus i is uh, as it is e raised to x into sin of y. Left hand side we have u plus iv. So, therefore I can say that u is nothing but a real part and v is a nothing but imaginary part. So, on equating, on equating, real and imaginary on equating real and imaginary parts what happens here so we will get u is equal to e raised to x of cos of y and v is equal to e raised to x of sin of y so we got u value v value so together we are called this as equation number 1. So once we get this equation number 1, again same procedure we need to go for here. So for this, you can observe here. We shall find the image in the W plane corresponding to the straight line parallel to the coordinate axis means you can what we have seen that is x is equal to whatever value we will take it's supposed to be parallel to x axis and value of y supposed to be parallel to what here y axis so that is the meaning here so coordinate axis uh, sorry uh, uh, to the straight line parallel to the coordinate axis in the z plane that is x is equal to constant and y is equal to constant so with the help of this let us eliminate x and y separately from equation number one so these are the equation number one u is equal to e raised to cos y and v is equal to e raised to sin y is the equation number one so from this we will eliminate x and y now separately so we will see one by one so for to eliminate that so we will go for one of the situation here as u square i mean so squaring squaring and adding 1 we get means we have to square and add first we will square this so on squaring what happens here u square is equal to e raised to 2x into cos square of y and v will become v square is equal to e raised to 2x into sin square y then we have to add so left hand side we have to add it with the left hand side so on squaring so I will write here uh, squaring part what happens so on squaring it will become u square is equal to e raised to it will become 2x into cos square y and on squaring of v it will become v square is equal to e raised to 2x into sin square of y then we will add this what happens we will see here so on adding it will become u square plus v square is equal to e raised to 2x cos square y plus e raised to 2x into sin square of y. So, 
from the right hand side e raised to 2x will take common so it will be cos square y plus sin square y or e raised to 2x so this cos square y into sin square y is an identity so it will become 1 1 into e raised to 2x is e raised to 2x so u square plus v square so i will make this one as equation number 2 I will write this as equation number 2. Now, now, on dividing, we have added, we have squared and subtracted, uh, added. Now, we will divide uh, equation number 1. On dividing, we get, that is, u divided by v is equal to e raised to x of sin y divided by e raised to x into cos y means equation 1 that is u and v will divide each other so which is so e raised to x e raised to x cancel the so sine upon cos will become what here tan of y so therefore therefore u divided by v is a nothing but tan of y so this is i will give as equation number 3 so now by referring to 2 and 3 we have to decide what happens in the w plane now so for that we have to take case 1 so case 1 is let x is equal to constant c1 okay so where c1 is constant fine so equation 2 becomes equation 2 becomes so put x is equal to c1 in equation 2 so if you put x is equal to c1 in equation 2 u square plus v square is equal to e raised to 2 into c1 which will become purely free from x so therefore u square plus v square is equal to e raised to 2 times c1 or or i will write this u square plus v square is equal to e raised to 2 c1 which is completely become what here constant so I will say this is R square where where R is nothing but R is nothing but E raised to C1 because here 2 C1 can be written as E raised to C1 whole square we can write this one so R square so R is value is E raised to C1 which is a constant here so we will consider this so you can see that it is u square plus v square is equal to r square which is nothing but a circle form standard form of circle is uh, what here x square plus y square is equal to radius so here in place of x and y we have u and v so there this represent this represent a circle this represents circle with radius with radius with radius uh, and center I will take R with center R so this is the converted if you take a constant x is equal to c1 so it is converting what here in terms of circle so similarly case number 2 we will see now here so case number 2 what here case 2 let y is equal to c2 I will take where c2 is constant c2 is constant so therefore equation 3 becomes because equation 3 contains what here y so equation 3 becomes that is I will show you equation 3 so equation 3 is y so this y will be replaced by what here c2 so therefore u upon v will become tan of c2 so which will be nothing but i will consider as m so tan c2 again it is a constant so constant i will name it as as m so therefore which implies u is equal to so one small uh, correction here so equation 3 it is not u upon v it is v upon u we have to make it so there is a correction here it is v upon u so v upon u will get actually uh, tan of y 
so the same thing i will take here v upon u is equal to tan of c2 which is nothing but m or v is equal to cross multiply this u so it will become u m it will become u m or or v is equal to m u so which is nothing but in the form of what here it is y is equal to mx plus c form which is a state line so y is equal to c to constant it is converting to what here a state line so this represent this represent a state line this represent a state line passing through passing through the origin passing through the origin in w plane in w plane so let's see the diagrams for this so we'll take uh, y axis as well as x axis okay so this is x and this is z plane so here i will take uh, this is y is equal to c2 and because we have taken y is equal to constant which is parallel to what here x axis as well as y axis so x if you take it is parallel to what here coordinate axis that is x is equal to c1 which is parallel to what here y axis so now it is converting to so we'll see so this is our u and v fine so the line x is equal to c1 it is converting to a circle it is converting to a circle and this is i will say that we got u square plus v square is equal to r square fine and this uh, y is equal to c2 it is passing through the origin this is nothing but uh, u uh, sorry v is equal to what here it is v is equal to m u fine so just see that so this is the conversion from z plane to w plane so in this way we have to see that the given conformal is transforming